Hello everybody and welcome to our channel but most importantly welcome to our exciting Craft Stash and Friends YouTube hop. My name's Lauren and welcome to Made by Lauren M & Co. Today we're going to have some fun at making a polar bear Christmas card and we're going to be using the My Creative Life by Katie Skilton collection. This one is the Festive Animal Antics Complete Bundle and I just wanted to go through what you're going to get in this bundle when you purchase it from Craft Stash. So the first thing you're going to get is this fantastic A6 stamp set. We've got a lot of different stamps on here. We've got some that are going to fit in with the characters in this collection. So we have Happy Holiday, my dear, have a very good Christmas, to a foxy friend and somebody loves you. So that should give you a clue as to who we're going to meet today. And then we've also got some fantastic generic stamps in here as well that can be used for any of your winter and Christmas crafts. As well as that, you're going to get two sets of two A6 stencils. We have the Stars and Chevrons A6 stencil set and the Festive Backgrounds A6 stencil set. Absolutely fantastic, perfect for making your backgrounds. You're also going to get one of the Frames and Sentiments die set. Now in here you've got four different frames with different finishes and you have a massive range of dies. Now, all of these dies are separate, so you can mix and match. You can separate them to say whatever you want. For today's card, I'm going to be using the festive and the hugs. And our card is going to say festive hugs on there because I really like that sentiment. And it's something a little bit different, not what you would normally see. And then you're also going to get two sets of festive characters. You have the festive bunny and fox die set and the festive bear and deer die set. In each of these, you're going to get your characters, the hats, the scarves and the jumpers. For today's card, I'm going to be using the bear up the top and I'm also going to be using one of the hats as well. Now, remember that everything that these items here, the My Creative Life by Katie Skilton, this particular bundle is on 20% off today. So please do check out the description box for the links and be sure to subscribe to Craft Stash and all of the other channels for even more great content. And if this is the first time joining me, please do hit that subscribe button to join in as well. So, as I said, I'm going to be making a polar bear inspired card today. I'm using a couple of the different items in here and I have got them out ready to show you. So we're going to be using the polar bear die. So you have the main bear body, you have the belly and you have the muzzle. You also have these holes here that can be used for stenciling so that you can add extra detail. And we are going to be using those today. We have one of the frame dies out of the frame and sentiment set. I have already die cut this, so we're going to be using a silver frame. And I've also die cut a piece of this gorgeous green and red like tartan that we're going to pop inside of the frame. So I'll put those to one side for now. We're going to be using the hat die. So you have the two different hats and the scarf. I'm just going to be using this one hat today for this project. And then I have the two sentiment dies as well. So as I said, you have the festive and the hooks. Alongside that, we're also going to be using a couple of different ink pads. So I'm going to be using the Distress Ink in Spun Sugar. This is going to be for the bear's ears. And I'm also going to be using, in this occasion, I'm going to be using the Versafine Black Ink. Um, it's the only blank black ink ink pad I have and I want this for the polar bear's nose. I also have a little ribbon bow. I've made this myself from some Christmas ribbon that I had in my stash. Then for the main part of the card I am going to be using a card blank. We're going to be making a DL size card which I feel will fit the size of the polar bear and the sentiment perfectly. We're going to use a piece of white card for the polar bear. 
as well as this gorgeous like warm grey colour for his belly and his muzzle area. I have some more silver mirror card that I'm going to use as part of the backing. We have a red tartan that I'm going to use for the main backing point of my card and this is just what is left of the green tartan. This is going to be for the centre of my frame. I wanted something a little bit more. For his hat I've picked this gorgeous decorative paper. I think that these really small pattern in here is going to look beautiful as his hat. And then for the sentiment, I've gone for this gorgeous No Shed White Glitter card. This is just a piece of scrap. I always think that sentiments are a perfect way of using up those little scrap pieces that otherwise might not be big enough. So with that in mind, let's get started. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to make sure that all of my elements are ready to go. So we're going to make up the polar bear. Now, I absolutely love these dies. They are so fantastic. Because they're all connected together, you're not going to lose any of the little pieces. They fit. So these ones, the character ones, or, or at least the ones I've tried, all fit through my Sizzix Sidekick. So if you only have a small die cutting machine, you can still use the characters at least and the sentiments in this smaller machine. So I'm going to cut off some of this white card stock. I don't need a lot. That's probably still too much anyway. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut out my main bear. Trim that off. But I'll just use some fresh. So I'm going to pop that onto there. I don't need the other pieces, but it's fine that it's going to cut out. Then I'm just going to use some low tack tape to make sure that that is secure. Last thing I want is to find that Mr. Bear has moved. And then I'm going to pop that through my die cutting machine. And while I'm die cutting that, I just want to let you know that Craft Stash has got 20% off on the products that are featured um, in all of the channels. So everybody who's taking part in this YouTube hop, everybody has something different, has a fabulous collection to show you. And those collections do have 20% off on the website. So don't miss out on your chance to stock up on these, especially if there's something in particular that you really love, that you really want to get crafting with yourself because now is the perfect time to pick it up. And while we're talking about saving some money, if you haven't already, I would highly, highly recommend joining the Craft Stash VIP Club. Um, that is obviously if you want one already. I am, I absolutely love being a member of the VIP Club. And if you join, not only will you get the 20% off on the sale price, but you're going to get an extra 10% off purely for being a part of the VIP club. You're going to get that on the sale price today and on all future orders for the entire year. It is $9.99 to join, but you can save that so quickly in the discounts you're going to get. Not only are you going to get that, you'll get early access to new launches, priority order dispatch, which if you're like me, very impatient waiting for your items, knowing that any order I place with Craft Stash is going to get sent out quicker simply because I'm a VIP is absolutely fantastic. There are unbelievable exclusive deals and I've taken my advantage of that many times. One of those is actually this set here. I picked up this bundle, it was a set of the little dobbers and some blending brushes at an absolutely amazing price. I think I, I think if I remember rightly actually, I saved the $9.99 that I spent on this one item. So every other bit of discount, all of the other exclusive deals that you can get as being part of the VIP membership was just extra on top of what I'd already saved. You're also going to get double reward points, so you can earn points every time you purchase through for Craft Stash. And being a VIP gives you double the points. So again, another reason to sign up to that VIP. And there's so much more as well. Um, if you plan on shopping today, 
especially if you're planning on picking up quite a few bits from craft stash i would seriously recommend going and signing up to the vip discount first of all so you can get that extra 10 percent off and again there'll be a link in the description box for more details so please do head on over so what i'm doing right now is i've popped back in my polar bear cutout that i'd cut because I want to add a little bit of pink detail in here on his ears. So I'm using one of the dobbers that I picked up from Craft Stash from their set. And um, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the Spun Sugar. I don't want a lot of colour here. I just want a little bit of pink. And these little patches here make the perfect little stencil. There we go. More than enough. And then when we take that off, look, we have this gorgeous little pale pink part on his ears. So I'm going to pop that away for now. Oops, there we go. And that is that first part. And now I'm going to take my darker grey colour because now I want to make his muzzle and his belly. So I just need a little patch of this, so I'll cut this off here, this just needs to be enough to cover those areas there, which it is, I'm going to use my base plate, so I always use the same plate for cutting on, it's just something that I, I do, you don't need to do that, so I'm going to line that up. I'm going to use my low tack tape again just to make sure that that is stuck down in place and I'm going to pass that through my side kick. There we go. And while you're on the website, why not take advantage of signing up to the newsletter as well? Um, I'm subscribed to their newsletter and I absolutely love it. There are sometimes some places where i sign up and i think why did i bother but honestly i love getting the craft stash emails to say that there is some amazing deal on there or that there's a new launch or a big sale or some sort of exciting offer on its way um including some of the deals of the day as well which you're just not going to find anywhere else um so I would highly recommend joining that as well. When you go onto the website, there should just be a pop-up that will um, ask you if you'd like to be signed up to the newsletter. And I would recommend doing it. So I'm going to grab my black dobber. I actually used this earlier, so... This might still be a little bit damp again you only need a little bit and again i'm just using that stenciling area it does keep popping out so i'm just gonna pop a tiny bit of this tape on just to keep it in place so it doesn't move and then i'm just gonna use a bit of scrap so this is the um the white belly that we didn't need from when I die cut it. I think this is actually going to be wet enough to do what I want it to do. So we're just going to add a bit of colour onto that nose. I'm going to give this a quick wipe just to clean that off. There we go. And they have this gorgeous little nose now. I'm going to move that out of the way. And then I'm going to take my art liner because on this little nose there is a little indent where you can pop the mouth. There we go. And then still using my little art liner. I bring back my bear and again there's some little indents where the eyes go and you can use any pen 
I like this art liner because it's really fine and I can get into those details easily. So as you can see, our bear is starting to come together. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut his little hat. So I'm going to take this gorgeous decorated paper and I'm going to cut a little patch out. I'm just using the really small, fine, patterned paper, this bit here, which I think will be perfect. Again, I'm going to lie that under my die. I'm going to get that into position. Turn that around like that. I'm going to grab my low tack tape and just stick that down. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Nearly, I nearly put it through through there and then we have this gorgeous hat just see how beautiful these are cutting through absolutely fantastic I love them Put that over there so I'm going to build up my bear now because I'm going to use wet glue to put this together and I want to give it time to dry. We have the belly area. So I'm just using some tacky PVA glue. I've just popped it in one of these smaller bottles to make it easier. So this is his little belly. We have this gorgeous little nose. And then this little hat. And that is our little bear i'm going to pop him to one side and give him chance to dry while we work on the rest of it so the next step i'm going to die cut out the sentiments so that they are ready to go as well so i'm going to take my scrap piece of the glitter card i'm going to cut this down because i don't need all of that Pop that back in my scraps box because you never know when it's going to come in handy. That in there like that. That in there like that. Now normally I would take these down but what I have found with this glitter card is my low tack tape doesn't actually stick. And to be fair to it, because it's a non-directional piece of cardstock... doesn't matter too much if they move slightly and this cardstock is quite thick so I am just going to pass it back through because the dies have to cut through the glitter and the backing card as well Oops. so let's see what that is looking like go back and pop out all the little extra bits but I do want to make sure I capture the little dot on the eye so I'm going to pop that out I lost it guys and I'm going to pop that over there so I know where to find it 
The hooks has also come out. I just need to get it off my plate. There we go. And that's it for the die cutting. So I'm going to move my dies out of the way. And I'm just going to pop the little bits here. And they are just popping straight out. Look. That is the hooks ready. Such a nice clean cutting on these dies. I absolutely love them. Put that one out and then There we go, and that is our sentiment ready to go as well. So we've now got our polar bear ready. We have our sentiment ready. Our little bow is ready to go too. We have our frame and the inside of our frame. So now it's time to start getting the rest of the card ready. So as I said, I'm using a card blank. It's my preferred way of doing this. You can absolutely make your own cards if you want. I'm using a DL size card. Now I've brought my card blank, card a blank in. I'm just going to zoom you out just a little bit. There we go. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some silver Mui to this first of all. So I'm going to bring in my cutter. You can use whatever cutter you're, you want to use. I like my um, Crafters Companion Guillotine Cutter. Just going to check the size of my card. So it's just under four by by just about eight and a quarter. So. I'm going to go for eight. I only want it ever so slightly smaller than my actual card size. I do want to make sure that I've got a nice edge on this. So I'm just going to straighten up that edge and then come in here at three and three quarters. So that is my Mui card ready to go. Then I'm also going to bring in my red tartan that I want to use. So I'm going to cut this at three and a half. And this at Roughly seven and three quarters. So that now gives me my layers. I'm going to move that out of the way and we're going to make up our base layers. So I'm going to use my um, Scotch ATG, it's my absolute favourite. up onto my silver mirror there we go and then I'm going to use my Scotch ATG again onto my card base. There we go. 
So that is our card base made up. And now we're going to assemble this. So we're going to start off by attaching the frame. Now what you'll notice about the frames is that the top is ever so slightly lifted. So we're going to attach this roughly there. And I'm going to use my wet glue for this because it's such a delicate frame. I know I don't have any other adhesive that would work. a little bit extra on here because I want to make sure that this frame sticks just like so and again make sure you know which is your top which for me I believe is that way and then we're going to stick that down Then I'm going to add my green tartan in the middle. So again, I'm just going to use some wet glue. Just gives me time to make sure that it's in right and positioned. And again, you'll notice on here, look, you have that little bit of curvature on the top. I'm going to put that inside of the frame like so. Beautiful. And then I want to give my little polar bear a little bit of lift. So I'm going to take some double sided tape, double sided foam tape, and I'm going to pop some pieces on here. And he is going to sit beautifully inside our frame. There we go. How cute is that? Absolutely love the bear. I'm going to add my bow. Put this on the bottom here. Just going to press that down slightly because I just want to make sure that that is stuck. Nothing worth is worse than an escaping bow. Put that down. And then we have our little sentiment to put on here. Must remember my little dot. So there is our festive. Just going to add a little bit of extra glue on the back of here.
And then we have the hooks. Festive hogs, absolutely love that. And then, just to finish it off, because what is a card without a little bit of bling? We've got some of these gorgeous little gemstones. So, I'm going to grab my tweezers. And I want the green ones because I want it to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to take some of these gorgeous little ones here. And pop these into the corners of our card. So one, two, three. I think that that is absolutely beautiful so that wraps up our session for today please don't forget to go and check out the other presenters channels for more crafty inspiration and subscribe to craft stash for loads of great card making tutorials and remember craft stash offers the best prices amazing value for vips and top-notch customer service you can find out all of the relevant links in my description below. And happy crafting! I hope you've enjoyed making this card. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Bye for now.